Hey guys, today we're going to be playing some GeoGuessr. It's been a long time since I've made a video or even played GeoGuessr, but... Well, I don't know, I was, I was feeling it. I was feeling it, so let's start a challenge. It's going to be four minutes, I believe, I put per challenge, but here we go. Yeah, four minutes, and right off the bat, we have the worst camera I've seen in a long time. There's some hay in the fields here. They're not even, like, wrapped up in marshmallows right now, but I feel like we... M I hesitate to say we're in America, but I believe we are in America. We are driving on the right side of the road. The road is actually kind of crappy, and, well, this is probably somewhere in, like, Kansas or something, if I had to guess. But let's keep going this way, and hope to God we see some kind of sign, although we probably wouldn't even be able to read it, so I'm going to kind of, I don't know, hope we get into HD territory or something? Ah, uh, there's a blue house over here, so, I mean, yeah, tra tractor crossing, excuse me, I almost said tractor chocting, which is not even a, it's not a word, or a phrase, or a sentence, or anything whatsoever. But we're just gonna keep pulling right along here, and uh, yeah, this is a farm, that's, <clears throat> as definite. This looks like something straight out of, like, Jeepers Creepers or some shit. Like the original one, where they're just kind of driving down this back road. It's not really a back road, I guess. It's kind of like a highway, but... Very similar in landscape and architecture. And I use the word architecture loosely. Yeah, a lot more hay. So... I really haven't the faintest clue of where we are. Uh, I, we're not in Asia. What? Jesus, I don't even know where my own country is. God damn. I'm guessing we're somewhere in Arkansas, Oklahoma, Missouri, or Kansas. I'm going to say we're probably somewhere around here in Kansas. But I I honestly don't know. We're running out of time pretty quickly here. Praying to God that we see some sort of sign. Even like a mile marker that would give us the state would be pretty dandy. But of course, that's probably not going to happen. More hay. <clears throat> be nice if I got some info here. This is one of the one of the situations where you rate this like a one because you have literally no information. The camera is absolute dog shit, and there's just corn everywhere. I guess we could be in Nebraska, but I feel like there'd be way more corn. Oh, I reached the end of the road. Neat. They're just like fuck this. I'm not going any further. Guess we'll go backwards in time here. Minute thirty left. No passing zone. I mean, I've literally not even seen Walmart car, so I don't feel like passing somebody would even be a consideration, but, you know, maybe this farmer would pass his neighbor and flip him off or something? I don't know. Maybe they steal each other's land. Maybe they're good buddies. I'm pretty sure there's no other people around here except for, like, these two people that we've seen houses of. Oh, there's a sign here. What does it say? Oh, a little bit further, a little bit further. Oh, God, okay. Got a little... Oh. So, what? Speed limit 55, but it's also 40. I couldn't, I can't really read the second sign, the 40 sign. I don't know if it says something else, but we have reached a stop sign. That's, you know, I don't want to say good, but there's something right here. I can't, oh God, I can't even go down this road. Oh yeah, I can. Okay. Yeah, I'm just gonna say we're in... I couldn't read that if I tried, dude. God damn. 17 seconds left. At least we found civilization. This looks HD. No, it's just they repaved this road recently, so... I don't know. Let's place it right about here, a little bit closer to Nebraska, and make our guess. I was not too far off, honestly, given the information, but... No, I did not enjoy that inform- that, excuse me, location. I gotta give that a one. And, oh, wow. It's HD, kind of. Well, I guess not even kind of. What do we got here? Sign? Zona de Neblina. So, we're in, oh, man, maybe, maybe Spain or Portugal, but it could also be Mexico. Well, I don't think this is Mexico. Mm, no, it's not Mexico. Could be Argentina or Brazil. I don't know. Could also be Italian. I'm very bad at the romantic languages, I'm not gonna lie. 
they all look very similar to me. As ignorant as that sounds, and it is pretty ignorant, but I'm definitely going to say this is not Mexico. In fact, I feel like this is Argentina. Somewhere around here. I'm just going to place it right there between Argentina and Chile. Chile. Hmm. Could be down here. I don't know. Like I said, I'm very bad. Like, I know a little bit of Spanish, but... Spanish and Portuguese look very similar to me, as well as Italian, though Italian a little bit less so. And this looks like Spanish to me. Uh, I, I can't say that I think this is in Europe, especially because the roads are very... I don't want to say American, but I guess I would say um, Western Hemisphere, so to speak. Because usually, usually in Europe, the roads don't have, like, the same lines, you know what I mean? Like, they're more white lines, they're a little bit more narrow. Still, I have no idea what that means. Well, it's a zone of something, I don't know. If maybe that's just the town name, or... No. I mean, it's beautiful, I'll... I'll give it that. Wait, no, he's a little bit further back. No, I can't read that. Well, maybe I can if I zoom in. This is just some kind of shop or something. I mean, I, I definitely do think this is... Oh, we got people here and sheep. So, well, maybe that is Europe. Maybe this is Europe. Oh. No, this definitely... This definitely seems like it's in Southern America. Or South America, sorry. I mean, I think we're in, somewhere in here, possibly. Got a truck here, maybe that will give us, like, a, no, it's all, it's just covered up. I mean, and again, it's a very beautiful place, I won't take that away from them. Again, I just need... Is this a mile marker? Is that what I just saw? Uh, no, it's just saying, hey, this road's bendy, don't crash. Don't die. We, we don't have the, uh... Willpower here to go down the side of a mountain and get you. Alright, let's... Let's keep going here. Sweet tie-dye shirt, or am I wrong? Maybe I'm wrong. Are they holding hands? No. Okay, I was gonna say, that's really cute. So... Let's hope my... Gut feeling that we're somewhere along these mountains here this is good because I'm going to maybe a little bit further south, right about here. And let's make my guess. <clears throat> it was it was Peru. I mean, at least I was on the right continent. We're gonna give that a three just because it was a beautiful location. The camera was in HD, but there wasn't that much information. So here we at least have a city. And right off the bat, we have what looks like a store. And a little bit further, just trying to get some language. There is a little bit of acrylic there. So I'm going to guess Eastern Europe, possibly, in Russia. Maybe put us in the Ukraine for right now. I have no idea how to even read uh, these these characters. I know they're vastly different than, I guess you would call it a, I don't know, a Latin type, Latin based alphabet. Can we get... I'm trying to find a domain name, maybe? So 930, I don't, although there is, I don't know if that's the sign for like, Rupal, or what is RP... I don't know if that's a P or anything like that, but it's R something. If we can get a domain name that's .ru or something like that, or dot, I think it's Ukraine is UK, then that would be pretty awesome. There's a billboard over here. There's a lot of people just kind of like, what the fuck? Just what is this car, dude? I don't know. I don't know. 
I'm trying to scroll out a little bit. I don't know if you can hear my wheel going. It's a phone number here, but why don't these like do none of these people use the internet? They just use telephones. Is it just 1986? I wasn't even alive in 1986. It just sounded good at the time. So I'm going to hesitate to say we're in Russia because it doesn't look very Daisy-ish. I realize that's a really ignorant and kind of shitty thing to say. However, let's just say you can really tell when you're in Russia when you're in Russia. You're not very often in a big city like this. Hmm. I've only got a minute... Well, minute 45 now. I was going to say a minute and 50, but... Really? Like, what's the... Why do they hate the internet so much? Just give me a damn domain name or a sign that says, Hey, you're going into St. Petersburg right now, dude. Oh. Billis.u... That looks like an A. What would be UA? UA. I don't know what UA is. Maybe that's Ukraine? I thought Ukraine was... Maybe that's an S? I don't know. We're gonna keep us, like, right here. I'm running out of time very quickly. I don't know. Uh, you can tell I haven't played GeoGuessr in a while, because I'm very... Oh, scroll out, god, god damn. Because I'm very, uh... Rusty, if you will. Those look absolutely delicious. Yeah, I feel like we're in Ukraine, maybe. I don't see anything else to... S oh, I can't go that way. Alright. Anything else to tell us that we're not? And that, that domain name... UA, I think it was. I couldn't really read the second letter. But, again. I haven't played this in a long time, so my world knowledge has been... Vastly decreased, if you will. I'm a little bit more ignorant than I used to be. Oh, what's this? What's this? Oh my god, we only have three seconds. U... UA? Alright, that's... I was I was in the U... Was I in the Ukraine? Okay. <clears throat> Alright, so I got the right country, okay? I'm not that dumb. But we were in Kiev. Which... You know, I wasn't that far off, so pretty good. I'll give that a four because there was a good amount of, inf of information, excuse me. And now we're right back into... Actually, this is too pretty to be Russia. No offense to any Russians that might be watching this. It's just I have a very narrow vision of what Russia may or may not be. And I do realize there's way more than just one country that speaks Russian. And by, like, Russian, I mean, you know, using the same alphabet. Is this a mile marker? What is this? It's behind that little shed thing, but what's this right here? Let's go forward a little bit. Mm, I don't know. It's very beautiful. I'll give them that. Uh, maybe... I guess it could be down, like, in here. <clears throat> got, like, dicks in my throat, dude. We got a little... What is that? 668. Let's see if we can scroll in and see anything that is, like, 668. And it was blue, so I'm not sure if that would correspond. Yeah, we're not in the middle of the ocean, dude. Well, I guess it's not the ocean, it's the sea. But... I don't know if there'd be blue signs on the map, or if they're... Okay, we have M4. A one forty six. Uh, well, let's keep going a little bit. We don't have much time left. We have to kind of get a little bit more information. And I realize, you know, probably not going to be the easiest thing considering our location. But I do think we're close to probably around in this area, or maybe even down in here somewhere. It's not very mountainous, so I don't think we're actually over here. It's more more open, as you can probably see because you have eyeballs assuming you're watching this but we're gonna say we're like right around here 
I mean, it doesn't look like there's a lot of stuff around here. And it seems pretty wide open, not a lot of forestry. But we're gonna keep going, maybe I'll see something that changes my... my mind. If this is a business car or something, that would be great, but I think it's just a regular van. Uh, the road is not the greatest. Alright. This looks like a typical Russian car, honestly. And again, like, <laughs> yeah, there's like 30 people crammed into it. No, it's actually only like two people, but anyways. A lot of times you just have to sound and be very, I don't know, scummy when you play this game. You have to base it off of like, what your, 666, oh god. What your experience of like the, the cultures around you are, and you have to be like, oh well, yeah, it's really stereotypical, but at the same time, Stereotypes exist for a reason. And I still have no no information. And again, these these cars look very Russian to me. Dude, this guy's got a lift. Look at him. Oh no, maybe it's just, well... Yeah, it looks a little bit, I don't know, it looked way, it looked like a hydraulic lift there. From way back there. Oh, it says writing on it. What's it say? Oh, it's just... It's just literally nothing. This dude's just like, what the fuck? And we've got 20 seconds left. We're still on 666. I don't know. I don't... Uh. I'm gonna place it a little bit further south, because we're only in like the 200s. Oh, shit. Ah, uh, damn it. Oh, we were in the Ukraine, huh? Wow. Alright, fair enough. Ukraine again? That, oh, I didn't really want to give that a 4, but alright. Fair enough. Our last location, it looks... This is just like someone's back road. But initial guess... We're in... In Nordic country, or maybe somewhere around in one of these three. Norway, Sweden, or Finland. If I had to hazard a guess, I'd say... Probably Norway, although it's a little bit forest, more foresty, so actually probably more like Finland. Maybe a little bit further north. And the red houses, they're like a dead giveaway. They're, you're just kind of like, oh, what is this? Is this a little gnome on this guy's mailbox? Yeah, dude. Looking good. Looking good. But yeah, the red houses and the red barns and whatnot. Dead giveaway of like Norway or Finland, even Sweden. Like, look how many red red houses there are. There's that one back there, there's this one up here. This one's blue, but it kind of still fits the theme a little bit. Just in terms of looks. Sometimes mailboxes actually have flags on them. In European countries. Like, I know, I get placed in Romania sometimes, and they have Romanian flags on a lot of the door things, like the gates and stuff. But we don't have any such luck this time. Unfortunately. Let's see here. Uh, again, not really much to go off of. I'm going to push a little bit further north in Finland. I really I don't know the languages either that much of all of these countries are down here. Even, even Denmark, I guess you could say. Like, they all just look similar to me. So, as ignorant as that sounds, and I'll admit... I'll be the first to admit I'm very ignorant to world, well, the world in general, I guess. But the only place I've been outside of the U.S. is Iceland in there. Uh, no, come on, be more patriotic. Anyways, their uh, their language is definitely not something I could ever forget. I'll just sign back here. Come on. This? Okay. <laughs> the A looks Russian for a second. 3200. Um, well, I know we're not in Iceland, so why am I zoomed in there? Let's go back over here where I'm actually placed. 3200. It's quite a high number. Or 
three, two, two. Oh, there's 70. 50. Uh, it's going to Norway. It's kind of combing the map, hoping for something. There's 30. I need 322, not 30. Maybe we're. Oh, 213. The good thing about these three countries is that if you're in one of them, you're pretty good. You'll still get a decent amount of points. But. Uh, did I say swag? No, Sveg. Yeah, I don't see I don't see these, so I'm going to say we're right about here. We got five seconds left. I'm gonna make my guess. All right, not bad actually. We were in Finland, so my gut feeling was there. Not the worst. I'm gonna give this a three. Not a lot of information, and let's view my summary. 16.6k points. Not the worst, as in the proper country for almost all of them except for the second Ukraine guess. So. Not my best work, but also not the worst. And as always, thank you all very much for watching, and see you next time.